Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your, I believe, fifth Microsoft Visual, Visual C Sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the if statement. So if you have used any other language before such as C++, C or Java, you're going to find this very similar to those, um, almost identical. So, and if not, uh, it's easy to pick up and it's almost just like English and mixed with a little bit of math and that's what um, most programming is. So let's go ahead and we will create a variable. So we'll just call it int num1 and we'll set it equal to 5. So now that we have our number, what we want to do is create our if statement. So we start, start off by using the keyword if <clears throat> and then we use parentheses. Now this is what we're going to put our statement in. So if what's inside of here is true, then go ahead and do what's inside the if statement. So let's say if num1 is equal to 5, then what do we want to do? We want to do console.writeLine and we'll just do true. So you can see here that we use two equal signs. Now what this does is it tests to see if num1 is equal to 5. If we only used one equal sign, it would be assigning num1 equal to 5. And you see we get an error here. And it says, cannot implicitly convert type int to bool. So assigning num1 to 5 is an integer type. But if we use equals equals, it's going to make a boolean type. So if num1 is equal to 5, then go ahead and do this. Now this might be a little confusing at first, but just remember whenever you're, using, um, whenever you're comparing a number, um, you want to use two equal signs, and whenever you're assigning a number, you want to use one equal sign. So let's go ahead and run this. And of course, it's going to say true, but forgot to, ah, forgot to add the console.readLine. So it's going to wait for us to hit the enter key before it closes. So go ahead and run this and you can see that it says true. Now let's go ahead and change this to something else. So if num1 is equal to 6, then go ahead and write true. And since it's not equal to 6, it's just going to show us nothing. Now we can also use the less than or greater than operators. So let's say if number 1 or num1 is less than 6, then we'll go ahead and write true. So it cannot equal 6, but it has to be less than 6. So it can be um, from 5 all the way down to negative 4 billion something or whatever the limit is for integer types. So if num1 is less than or equal to s or is less than 6, then we want to write true. And since it, since it is, it's going to print out true. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Now we can also use greater than. You can see here that if we do that, nothing is printed out because num1 is not greater than 6. So this was a pretty simple tutorial. There's a bunch of stuff that you can expand on um, with the if, if statement, which is what we're going to be learning about in some of the upcoming tutorials. So go ahead and practice that a little bit. And once you got that down, move on to the next video.